This tutorial will show you how to manage the iSpring project folder for your online course or presentation. When you work on projects, you should use your computer's local storage, not a network share or flash drive. The best place is a folder in your user profile, like Documents. Create a folder here called iSpring Projects. When you have a lot of projects, it's easier to separate them into their own subfolders. Let's create a subfolder for this course called Space Shuttle Course. Now right click in an empty area, go to New, and select Microsoft PowerPoint Presentation. Give it a name, and open it in PowerPoint to start working on it. You can enhance any PowerPoint presentation like this one with extra e-learning content. Whenever you use any of these features on the iSpring ribbon, they will add resources to the project folder. Let's look at a side-by-side -side view of the iSpring project folder in PowerPoint. I'm going to add a quiz to the end of this course. I'll scroll down to the bottom and add a new slide, and then insert a quiz from the iSpring toolbar. iSpring QuizMaker will open up, and here we can create a new quiz or open a previous one. I'll open my Space Shuttle quiz, and click Save and Return to Course. A placeholder is inserted on the slide, and a project folder is automatically added next to the pptx file. The quiz is contained in the quiz subfolder. You will never need to modify this file. To edit the quiz, simply select the slide containing the quiz and use the quiz button on the iSpring toolbar. If you record audio or video narrations, the files will appear here in the respective folders. If you want to make a backup of this entire project, or share it with a colleague, use the export feature. Choose a name and location, and put everything in a single zip package if you like. It will store all the files. Now let's publish this course to see how the output folder looks. By default, it will be published to the same project folder. After you click Publish, iSpring will automatically create an output folder. Since we chose Web Output, it will be labeled Web. Afterwards, you can open this folder and see the files. This file is a web page containing your course which is stored here. These should also be kept together, like your pptx file and project folder. After publishing, these files cannot be edited or converted back to PowerPoint format. The key concept to take away from this tutorial is that your project consists of the PowerPoint file and this automatically created folder, so keep them right next to each other with the same names. You should never modify files directly in this folder. Always use iSpring functions to add and delete content. The items in the output folder are also inseparable and should always be kept together and never modified. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.